This is a 1981 original paint FXWG flame job. This is the last year of the AMF. It's original paint. It's pretty hard to come by. Most have been exported out of the country starting in the 80s to Australia as fast as they came up for sale. And later on to Japan and Europe. So, very surprised to find one left here in the U.S. Just got it this morning. We made about a thousand of these a year. 1980, 1981, 1982. I do believe 1983 and I'm not positive on 84. I've had an 83, but of course somebody could have mounted the tanks, but they definitely made them in 82, absolutely positive. It is very close to stock, but not 100%. Tanks and fenders are original paint. Fashion Speedo's original, correct bars, correct risers, correct handlebar controls. Correct gas caps. Even has the original mirrors. Both sides. Original Harley Davidson mirrors. Even has the original Yankee turn signals. Although they are unworking, they're all out here except for one blinker cover. That's the correct air cleaner. There's what's left of the correct stripe up here. The wheels. Surprisingly, are extremely nice and original. Original DOT wheels. It's got a DOT insignia somewhere in here. I took it out, pictures of it. So if you refer to the pictures, I check you'll see the DOT insignia on, the, on both wheels, front and rear. Late 81, they went to this rim here. 82. And uh, some had the early ones, some didn't, as they had this or that. The earlier rim, starting in 80, the real thin rim, they, they bent. You can't find them. I've never seen a used one. Oh, we'll never know if it, this bike came with this rim or if it was replaced. But as clean as the bike is and as clean as the wheels are, it probably came with that DOT rim because they were very expensive. And I can't see somebody bending the other wheel and then paying the $500. For the uh, the original Harley wheel, when you can buy a reproduction wheel for a hundred bucks, so people usually didn't do that. So, what has been done to this machine to make it altered from stock? I will point out, it is missing the choke, the little trip meter switch here, the correct little center pad. It is missing the little cover here. It says 80. The little black little plastic piece here, little thin piece. It is missing the little cover here. The kicker cover has been replaced in the kicker arm. And of course the exhaust pipes. And it has 11 and a half inch progressive suspension shocks. It does have the very cool Harley Davidson accessory. This is an accessory, you had to buy it. Battery cover. So the uh, front brake lower lines have been replaced with braided. And the front brakes and the rear brakes appear to have been rebuilt. And the front brakes were appear to have been painted at that time. Because this is still the original pieces here. And this is new. And this has just been put in. So that tells me somebody rebuilt these. And used the original. It's got all the original nuts and bolts. If you just pop aftermarket on, you just pop that on. The original twisty piece here has been replaced. It rips here appear to be original, but they do reproduce them. So it's had a little strap here put on here. And of course the seat. It's had an ignition system put on, which makes it easy to kick start. The original ignition system, you can't kick them. It takes two complete revolutions to start them where it starts sparking, which makes it very rough on the original electric starter system, which means they broke all the time because of the ignition system. Has the original oil tank and correct sticker. Now these are original covers on the primary that somebody has chromed, but they're not reproduction, they're original. And of course the rear sprocket wears out and it's been replaced. 
So it's what I consider a stock custom. Everybody alters the bike a little bit to their own taste, at least here in America. So it's not so far from stock to say it's not a stock bike, it's still a stock bike. It even has the original headlight. I've never seen one of those show up used at a swap meet, ever. So we're going to kickstart this lovely bike here. And we're going to fire it up with an electric start. So the ignition system, no it's not stock, but it's going to run a lot better. It's going to be a lot better performing for the bike. And personally I would not change that. It's such a good running bike like it is. So that's my suggestion to anyone who gets this bike. It just got it today. It is for sale. So if you're interested in a very cool FXWG flame job, I haven't had very many of these. They're extremely hard to come by. Here it is. So we're going to fire it up, take it up and down the street. I left the door open. There was Ad Dixon nerfing, nerfing, nerfing away. He's finally gotten a little better, I hope, so we'll see if he comes running out chasing me up and down the street on the bike. If he does, I'm just going to let him chase me. So I figured I'd just let him run. As tired as he is from Dixon, he's like instant awake, yay bike! As you saw, the electric started is working. I put, uh, have no gas, so I put it on reserve and restart the bike. It fires right up. That was a cold start. It's the only second time I started the bike. I started it when I got it. It's an extremely good running machine. Very powerful for a wide glide. Uh, it, certain shovel heads are really, really good shovel heads. This is one of them. The rest are just, oh, it's a bike. This is an outstanding machine. It's really rare. So hopefully the right guy will fall in love with it. It's a beautiful, beautiful bike. I will see you guys in the next video.